Construction 17, how to draw the in-center and in-circle of a given triangle. So what you will have is, you'll have a triangle given to you, in this case triangle ABC, and our job is to locate the center called the in-center and to draw the in-circle. Now before we start we need to know what the word in-circle means. If we come up here and draw a quick sketch of a triangle, the in-circle will be a circle that is inside the triangle and touches the three sides. The three sides are like tangents to the circle. The center of that circle is known as the in-center of the triangle. And the method that we're going to use is to get the in-center of a triangle, you must bisect the three angles. And where the bisectors cross, there's one bisector, you'll bisect this, and you'll bisect this. The bisectors of the angles will meet at the in center. Now, in order to find the center, it's only necessary that we bisect any two angles, this one and this one, or this one and this one, etc. So, let's do the construction. For this one, I'm going to bisect angle A, B, C. Uh, if you've forgotten how to bisect an angle, please check out construction number one. So I'm going to place my compass at B and I'm going to reduce the radius down a little bit and I'm going to swing an arc to cut at locations one and two. I then place my compass at one and I extend it out a little bit and I'm going to swing an arc somewhere over here. Now keeping the radius exactly the same, I'm going to just transfer the point across to position 2 and swing an arc the other way. Where the two arcs cross each other is position 3 and I'm just going to connect that back, connect that back to B. Like so. Now that's one bisector drawn. I need to repeat this process, I'm going to do it for angle C. So I reduce my compass size down a little bit, put my compass point at C, and I'm going to swing an arc to cut two of the sides like so. I'm going to call this position 4 and 5. I then put my compass point at 5 and extend it out. swing an arc over here and keeping the compass at the exact same length I transfer it down to position 4 and I swing an arc that way. And you'll see that these two arcs cross at a new point which I'll call point 6. Now to get the bisector of the angle I join C to point 6 with a straight line and I have found my in-center. My in-center will be where this bisector cuts this bisector and it, that is at this location here which I call O. That's how you find the in-center. Now to draw the in-circle can be a little bit tricky to set the radius but if I've done the construction well, when I put my compass point at O, I then have to reduce my radius reduce my radius down until it's the side is a tangent to a, a circle so I just have to this can be tricky you have to play around with it to get it to touch the sides once you're happy that you have it set reasonably well you can draw your circle like so and just to place it there, you can see that the circle I drew touches the three sides. So just to recap, to get the in center and in circle, meaning a circle inside the triangle, you bisect two of the angles. We could have bisected this one, either, two of them. And where those bisectors meet should be your in center. And then you adjust your radius so that it touches all three sides and you swing the circle. 